I'm, I'm surprised they're that low. Um, Skip, yeah, in your 40 years of journalism, you understand that sports is just an about, not about scores. It's about stories. Nobody coming into the 2020 season has a more compelling story than one Tom Brady. 20 years in one organization, leaves, goes to a franchise that has not been to the playoffs in over a decade, leads them to the playoffs, gets a play. Skip, the story is there. It's to be written. All Tom Brady has to do is the end. It's there. It's the most compelling story. Now, do I believe? I think he should have been, you know, I, I, obviously I believe he should have been higher considering what the story is about, uh, uh, around him. Now, we haven't had a back-to-back Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl, a regular season MVP, Skip, if I'm not mistaken, since Peyton Manning, and we're probably going to have to go back to 2008, 2009, something like that, maybe even further. But if I'm not mistaken, Peyton was the last back-to-back MVP. So, yeah, you know, Mahomes or, or Lamar winning that, okay, yeah, but is that a more compelling story than Tom Brady leaving one organization after 20 years, going, setting out on his own, and getting a team that hasn't won, that's known for futility, into the playoffs, Skip, that's going to be an unbelievable story if that were to happen. And I think Tom Brady should have been a little bit higher on the MVP odds. Wait a second. Did I just hear Shannon Sharp give Tom Brady a real shot at being the National Football League most valuable player? No, that's not what I said, Skip. I said he's too low. I still, I would still take Lamar. I'm not putting. I mean, Skip, uh, my homeboy is plus three seventy five. I'm not, I'm not putting no three hundred seventy five dollars to win a dollar. You're crazy. That uh, I mean, to win a hundred bucks? No. I mean, Tom Brady's gonna skip. You know, gamblers they do odds. I, I don't do that. I, I, I don't got the tolerance. I don't got the stomach for it. You know how gambling works. I don't got the stomach for that, Skip. A little bit, a little bit, but not like this. No, I would take my homes. I will tell you what I'm going to do, Skip Baylor. I'm going to take Mahomes and L. Jack. i give you the feel for two cases. For two cases with field. Two cases. Well, well you obviously, you're going way out on the limb there, aren't you? <laughs> how, about, how about I get Tom Brady, and I'll bet you one case, but if I win, I get 22 cases because he's no, 22 no, 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 on no, no, Fox no. Bet. No, yes. No. no. Skip. Let's do the odds. <laughs> 22 to 1. No. I'll bet you one case uh-uh. on Tom Brady. You give me 22 no. cases. That's what Fox no, Bet I'm says. Doing the, Skip, I'm giving you the old uh, uh, Tiger Woods. You got Tiger. I got Tiger. You take the field. In this situation, I got L. Jack and my homeboy. You got the field. I mean, you got Russ. You got uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers. You got Drew Brees. Uh, uh, Brady. Yeah. Come on, Skip. Dak? What about Aaron Dak? Rodgers Dak has is like zero shot. One. Zero shot. Okay. Back what to about my Dak premise and, and, uh, here. Brady? I, we're talking about Tom Brady here. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. <laughs> is 22 to 1. The eighth choice says Fox Bet. If I were a betting man, I, I'd put a couple of bucks or maybe a couple of more bucks yeah. on that. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm even hearing Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Famer on Undisputed, mm-hmm. I think he's actually saying that he fears that Brady, story plus stats, will be right in the thick of the MVP race. Because I'll give you yeah. that. He does have a feel-good fairy tale narrative in place. You're mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. He went to the worst franchise in all of sports in overall career winning percentage. He went to mm-hmm. a team that was seven and nine and missed the playoffs last year. And mm-hmm. he is in position with the weapons that he gains there, plus Gronkowski, to make a run at MVP. I've already told you that several times sitting right here in this chair over the last month. He has Mm -hmm. a real shot, and it's not just because of story, because story alone will not win you MVP. You need wins, and you need stats. And I believe Brady, in the end, will have both. I believe that Tampa Bay, or as I call them, Tampa Bay, 
They'll win 12 games, and I believe they'll by one game they're going to win their division, the NFC South. Okay. It may even be a dead heat. Maybe it'll be both 12 wins. I just believe that Tampa Bay will somehow have the tiebreaker and win the division. If they get to 12 off only seven last year, and Tom can put up the kind of numbers Jameis did, but on the positive side of the ledger, he'll be right yeah. in the thick of it. Jameis threw for the oh, most yards win. in pro football last year, 5,000 plus yards. Brady will throw mm -hmm. for 5,000 plus, and I believe he will lead the league in passing yards. I believe he'll lead it easily in touchdowns. Jameis had 33 last year to Lamar's 36, which led the NFL. I believe Brady will throw 40 touchdown passes. I believe that Brady will cut Jameis's 30 interceptions down to under 10. I believe it'll be somewhere nine-ish. It could be 10, but it'll be like 40 to 10, 40 to nine. And with right. those kind of numbers and that kind of team success, it's going to be hard to keep him out of the race. And if you yeah. then throw underneath it, the feel-good fairy tale narrative to to gird it, to lift it, man, he's going to have a real shot. So I think 22 yeah. to one is outrageously wrong, and I believe that there's going to be this Tampa Bay tidal wave in Tampa Bay of an offense that will rival Mahomes and rival Lamar's because they have the weapons. Obviously, Tom had none of these weapons last year. Now he has two Pro Bowl wideouts. On top of Gronk, he has two other very good tight ends in O.J. Howard and Cameron Brait. His offensive line got better with Tristan Wirfs, who they stole in the draft, trading from 14 to 13. He'll be their new right tackle. Stud, way to go. And I think Donald Jones, who's a second-round pick out of USC, who can catch the ball out of the backfield. And then my little man, Keyshawn Vaughn out of Vanderbilt, who they stole in the third round this year, will give him James Whitish kind of players coming out of the backfield. Then on top of that, Bruce Arians has football offensive genius about him. Tom Moore, the overseer, the, the advisor to this offense, definitely does. So you, you give Tom all that, that's a recipe for MVP. So it's not just the story he's got going for him. It's the firepower. It's the brain power. It's set up perfectly for him to, to yeah. have the perfect storm down on the Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. So so I love his odds. They should be way up there. They should be just behind Mahomes and Lamar as the third choice. And right now they're clear down at, at the eighth choice. And I believe that you are seeing exactly what I'm seeing. And you are scared to death of what Brady might do in Tampa Bay. Well, Skip, look, at the end of the day, it's still a stat award. I mean, it's kind of like the Heisman Trophy, Skip. You could have team can be 14 and 0, but if you don't have the stats behind it, you're not winning that award. So at the end of the day, the MVP is a stat award. Now, when we get this comp compelling story behind it, Skip, like I say, we know Tampa Bay has been mired in futility for a decade. At the bare minimum, I'm saying a decade, and I'm kind of being nice. And you get Tom that left an organization with the success that he's had in New England. And all of a sudden, after 20 years, he leaves that, leaves that, comes down to Tampa. So, Skip, you know what? I might just put me, I might put me by 25 bands on this thing right here. I, hey, hey, I'm just saying, I just might do that, Skip. I ain't got nothing to lose. I mean, with the odds. Now, look, for you to win any kind of money on, uh, uh, you can't even win no money on uh, Patrick Mahone, boy. Now, Skip, I believe Lamar Jackson, because of his legs, he's going to have, Skip, he, I believe he'll rush for over 1,000 yards again. He's going to have, I don't know if he'll throw for 36, but he's going to have, you know, they added weapons around him so they can get better. Now, his passing might not be what it was last year because they did add J.K. Dobbins, so they're probably going to run it, want to run it again. But, Skip, he's going to have numbers. He's going to have, he might have games where he rushed for 100 or rushed for like 90 yards, 90 to 100, and then throw for 185 to 200. So when you look at it again, Skip, he's going to be over 3,000 yards. He's going to be over 1,000 yards rushing. So he's always going to be in the mix. My homeboy, Skip, you know Andy Reid. Andy Reid throws the football. My homeboy's going to throw it. And then they got the running back that they can dump it to out of the backfield. So he's going to throw, and he's like, you know what, throw some more, and then, uh, you know, throw some more on top of that. 
So those two guys will be there. But like you said, I believe Tom will be there also. He has weapons. And if he can get this team, Skip, because remember, Peyton Manning would have won the, uh, uh, the MVP his first year in Denver had Adrian Peterson not had that ungodly season coming back basically six months off of a torn, torn ACL. So Tom is prime. He's in a prime position, Skip. He sees the favorites, and he can just draft and then maybe like the four or five, last four or five games put some big numbers up, and then, like, the voters going to be like, man, Tom, and plus, Skip, he's 43. 43-year-old, getting a team to the playoffs, having deep. Skip, he don't have to throw for 5,000. If he can throw for 4,000 with, you know, 30 touchdowns and get this team to the playoffs, Skip, I believe uh, 11-5 and five season will win Tom Brady the MVP, Skip. And I'm going to put some money on so, it just in case he does. Really? So you're going yeah, to put I like money, money on a bet. quarterback that you have told me for four straight years here on Undisputed is washed up. You have said for four yeah. years, this is the end of Tom Brady. And you told me after last year that his skills had dangerously declined. And now you're yeah. saying if you're going to put money on him to win MVP yeah. next year? How is that yeah. possible? I thought you would laugh Easy. at this question and say... He should be nope. 100 to 1. I'm going to put 25 bands. That way, if I'm wrong, I'll be $500,000 richer for being wrong. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but, but wait a 22 second. 22 to 1, Skip. So you've you completely flipped? You, I, I finally convinced you that the GOAT is still capable of being the GOAT. I've told you that at Skip. 43, I don't see any diminished skills. Tampa Bay said they well, saw you, no diminished skills. Well, how about we go in, we go ahead and pull our little money together. You know, back in the day, like college days, Skip, we go get a couple of pieces. We go, hey man, how much money you got? Man, I got a dollar fifty. I got fifty cents. I got seventy-five. We pull our money in. We go get a couple of pieces, you know, maybe like three boxes of donuts, something like that, Skip. So I think if we pull our money in, put this thing together, we can come out looking real good, Skip. I like really? money. I don't know about you, but I like I just, money. Yeah. I, I just appreciate the fact that you have admitted to the undisputed audience <laughs> that you believe Tom Brady is still fully capable of winning this coming season's MVP of the NFL. Thank you for that, Shannon Sharp. I appreciate you. What I've humility. What I've what I what I've done to the audience is convince them that I like money more than I dislike being wrong. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.